So this morning, we're going to start off first with a demo. In true Chip Childers style, I'm going to, bring a, I'm going to start my, my morning off with a demo. So I wanted to bring up on stage someone that spent some time trying to bring the Cloud Foundry experience to Windows users which is really exciting and I'm excited to see and have someone come and showcase that on stage today. So this morning, I, first up, I want to bring up Sean Fan Wang, who's a product designer from Pivotal, to show us how to do remote debugging for Windows and Cloud Foundry. Come on up. Hi. Thank you. Good nice morning. Every time I hear that, I have this weird <laughs> reflex. <laughs> My Windows machine is rebooting. Yeah. But thank you. I mean, this is something huge, to have bringing the, the Windows experience to Cloud Foundry. Um, what made you go down this path? Yeah, uh, I think in the past few years, we have observed that a lot of our customers uh, who is in um, higher need of Windows support, and they have a lot of .NET workload that need to push to Cloud Foundry. Initially, we made a lot of like workarounds for them to um, use whatever like Cloud Foundry could have provided back then, but um, it became more and more clear to us that we actually need to have a dedicated team now to uh, actually help uh, bridge the gap between the Windows user world and the Cloud Foundry world. Well, that is awesome. I know it's been desperately needed for a long time. And then today, you're going to show us uh, some, some new, tools that, new yeah. tools that you've developed. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, because uh, Windows 2016 just uh, um, provided the new Windows container technology. And that really is a game changer for Cloud Foundry users. Uh, now, if you uh, push your .NET app to Cloud Foundry and, uh, with the Windows 2016 stack, you can uh, leverage a lot more uh, CF um, features, such as this CF SSH, into the remote container. That is what I'm going to demo today. Well, that is super cool. So I'll let you go ahead and get started showing us how to do that. Cool. So this is a very uh, this is a simplif uh, simplified and recorded uh, demo of how to um, remote debug uh, uh, .NET app that you just pushed to your remote container. So we will start from um, publish your app, and then like remember to flag it as uh, debug. And now you have published and let the build running. Now we're going to just uh, move the file to a clean directory. Nora, Nora is our sample app that we always use for demo purpose. And then while you're, while you're uh, moving your published application, you should also include uh, the remote debugger provided by Visual Studio in the same folder with that application. Uh, and you should make sure that your remote debugger version works with uh, the version of the Visual Studio of your choice. OK, now we're going to check some command line from the help documentation. Um, the particular uh, command that we're using right now is to being able to access a remote application without authentication requirements. So once we checked that, now we CF push with a Windows 2016 stack and with our HWC build pack, now we push it to a remote container. Now it's staging the application.
So what's happening here? So now this application is successfully running, and let's do a web request to make sure that um, we could hit the endpoints right now. So now this application is running, uh, as we just saw here. Uh, this is a fat finger. Uh, ignore that one. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, so now the application is running. It says, hello, I'm Nora running on uh, nora.humus.cf-app.com. And now, this is the important part. Now, uh, we made CFSH possible, and now you can access, uh, establish an SSH connection from your local host with your remote container, and you could do a port forwarding which attach the remote debugger port to your local host. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> This is uh, this is a very this is a uh, this is a really a, it looks simple. It's just like a dash l, dash l and port forwarding, but what it allows us to do is now you have uh, your remote debugger port attached to your local. Now you can uh, if something is uh, is crashing on the container, you can de uh, you can like add. Breakpoints and debug it from your uh, Visual Studio without leaving your local environment. So here we just uh, uh, did a check for the port, proved everything is running, and then now we just need to uh, attach to a managed process here using the same port we just uh, declared. Yeah, so now this uh, um, start point is attached to our process. And you must see this uh, loading that is like running, running the process for this, for this uh, port forwarding attachment. And as it, as it runs through, we're going to add a breakpoint to our demo app. So here we are. Now, while, while this breakpoint added, let's try to hit the endpoint again. Now, boom, here uh, the uh, the script will stop at your breakpoint, and from here you can check your you can check your uh, logs and make sure your app is running. So this awesome. is a small feature we just uh, provided uh, to the .NET um, .NET developers and the Cloud Foundry users. It's a, a very important step for us to bridge the. Uh, to, for the .NET developers on Cloud Foundry to leverage the most important, most uh, uh, advanced features in Cloud Foundry. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is a, a super awesome demo. And obviously, .NET is uh, an important workload for a lot of users. So thank you. Yeah, uh, this is just a very simple demo. This afternoon at 2.45, um, uh, Sanjay and Matt from my team is going to give a more in-depth presentation about the newest feature with Windows 2016 uh, stack. Please go and check it out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you.